Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a what's in the work box video for you. Um, this is my seventh grader's setup and he kind of has his own little desk over here because he likes to sort of um, have some privacy and like to focus. So I did do a quick um, video of our new setup on my Instagram so if you're interested in seeing what the whole thing looks like you can go stop by and check that out. Um, his setup is actually all from Ikea just like the other kids and he's got the junior swivel chair right there and then he actually has two Vika Alex drawer units. The only reason he has two is because I ran out of table legs and when I had my desk all together um, I didn't need any table legs. So this actually has some sewing supplies for my daughter in there. Um, so he doesn't use that side. His drawers are just for school are just on this side over here. Um, and then his tabletop is actually a little bit bigger one as well. Um, I think it's about two feet by five feet maybe. Um, yeah, I'm almost positive. It's two and a half by five. Um, these are the ones I had pushed together when I had my um, big square uh, homeschool table if you guys saw that. So he kind of got this one. It's a little bit bigger setup and um, yeah, he's liking it over here. Helps keep him focused and less distracted. Um, so let's take a look and see what's in his work boxes for today. All right, so in his first drawer, he has got his Bible. Um, this year he is doing the same one my daughter is doing, um, and that would be the Teens and Adults One Year Interactive Daily Bible by Word of Life. I do have a review on this if you want more information. And um, so he just has that in his first drawer. He goes through and does that first. And then he's also got his um, daily schedule in here. This is printed out from Homeschool Tracker in case you missed my other What's in the Workbox videos. Um, I have a very old copy of this software, so I don't actually know if they support this report anymore, but if they do, um, it's called the Weekly Agenda. And so over the summer when I do all my planning, I put in all of their assignments and what they need to do. I make sure to put information that they need, like if they need to read a certain page or study a certain chapter or whatever. And then I print this out for them. So they get Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then on Friday they do an options program. So it makes it really nice. They can go through and check off all of their work. Um, he's also got a egg shaker because, yeah, that's important. And then he has a clipboard in here as well because we take school on the run sometimes. And so they each have a clipboard. Then he has also this expandable um, drawer organizer. It can expand and contract to fit just about any drawer. Um, we have had these for years. I want to say they were somewhere between $12 and $20. I know that's kind of a mix. I can't remember, though, because we've literally had these for probably five or six years. So um, I will try and find them and link them below for you. Um, but it's nice. It keeps all of their supplies kind of contained, and then we can still use the rest of the drawer for other things. And then it looks like he also has some um, fun colored pens in here as well. So that is his first drawer. All right. And then moving on to his second drawer, this is his math drawer. He is currently doing pre-algebra Matthew C, so he has his DVD in here. And then I've actually just pulled out his worksheets for the week, and his workbooks I just keep in here, so um, I can just pull them out really easy. But I just pull them out, and then he goes through and does them each, each day. And um, if you don't want to pull them out, you could just put like a little sticky tab or something in your workbooks. For some reason, I've always pulled out math. I don't know why. Um, and then <laughs> he's also got, he has some, he loves origami, so this looks like a, um, I don't know, a cricket or a fly or some kind of, what do you guys think it is? I don't know, um, bug of some sort. Not sure what that one is, flying bug, maybe it's a fly, I don't know. Um, so that's that. And then in here, he's also got his Fix-It Grammar. We're currently doing the Robin Hood um, version. Let me back up a little bit so hopefully you guys can see a little bit better. Um, so here is his version. He's currently doing Robin Hood. Um, and then he goes through and completes his um, uh, sentences or whatever each day and then he also has to rewrite the story and all his vocabulary words so he basically has his fix-it grammar and a spiral in here for that and then in the back of that he has um, another spiral for uh, spelling words and then he is currently working on spelling you see um, American Spirit level E and that's going really well so he's got that in here this is part one and then he's got part two in there for when he gets to it Alright, and then in his next um, drawer down, he's got his um, science and history 
So this is just his science taking notebook. He, we are currently doing, we start out with a Becca, but we've actually changed to the Rainbow Science. We really do like this. Um, I will do a more thorough review on it because I don't have one on my channel yet. However, I did want to, um, you know, use it first and make sure um, that we liked it and all that kind of stuff before I did a review on it and kind of told you guys more information because I wasn't sure how it was going to work out. But they basically do two science lessons and then a lab. So they do science three times a week right now. Um, I really like the labs. They're a lot of fun. The lessons are fun as well. Every now and then the questions I feel like they ask aren't necessarily reflected in the text as well. Um, and so um, that's the only issue I've really had with this. It is a secular curriculum. However, they haven't addressed anything of a religious nature thus far. So um, I'll keep you posted on that. So, And then they also have a student lab notebook. So basically what you need, I have a teacher's manual. You need the student lab workbook. Um, the student text workbook and then some kind of spiral to take notes if you want them to. I do so. Um, and then he also has his history in this section. We are doing a Becca history right now um, and he is doing it with his sister so actually the book, the textbook is in his um, her work drawers um, and then they share it which is kind of a pain. If I could afford two textbooks I would recommend that but since we're there doing the same one and the textbooks are 20 some dollars a piece um, I just thought we could share them. So anyway so that's what's in that drawer. And then down here in his last drawer is his reading, so whatever book he is reading at the time. And then he also has, this is his IEW um, writing, and so um, it's got all his writing assignments and worksheets and all of that. All right, so that is my eight, um, seventh grader setup and what is in his work boxes each day. Um, he does go to a once a week options program as well, and that's just put on through our local school district. If you want more information on options for homeschoolers, you'd want to just contact your local school district um, and see if they offer anything like that. The electives that they do there um, change every year. So this year he's doing robotics, um, PE, choir which he doesn't like but they had writing um creative writing was the alternative <laughs> he doesn't like he already has to do writing at home so he didn't want to do two um i can't blame him and then he also has a what is his fourth class and then he also has a game theory um class where they do um you know critical thinking kind of games like chess and risk and things like that so that is what my seventh grader is doing this year i hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions make sure to leave a comment or uh, send me an email i'll put all of my information below i hope you enjoyed this what's in the workbox wednesday video and i will see you next time